Another common uh, bed mobility activity that people have problems with is rolling from your back to your side. So um, that is the motion that you want to do in order to be able to push up into sitting on the edge of the bed. You move from your back, roll to your side, push up into the seated position, and then you can get up and, and walk. But sometimes people get stuck between lying on their back and rolling to their side. So we'll, what I'll do is show you the exercises that make up the rolling task. Uh, you'll break the task down, perform the individual exercises, and then we'll bring it all together and do the, the roll. Now there's two types of rolls. There's a log roll and there's a segmental roll. Now the log roll is basically the image is a, a log in the water. When it, when it rolls in the water, the whole log moves as one. There's no uh, segmental breakup of it. So for a person, a log roll would be first you have to bend your knees and then you need to drop them to either side. Now you can see when my, when my knees went, when my knees dropped to the right, my shoulders came with it. So everything moved as one. That's a log roll. A segmental roll would be dropping the knees, so my shoulders are still flat on the mattress, then moving the shoulder. That's your segmental roll. Usually the segmental roll, you want to avoid that, especially if you're recovering from any type of back injury or back surgery because you don't want that twisting on the spine. So safest bet is your log roll. Your knees are bent, drop your knees to the side, and your trunk moves with it as one. Now again, to do the rolling technique, you have to slide your heels up so that your heels slide. You have to be able to do a lower trunk rotation to initiate the knee drop to one side. You have to be able to carry your arms with it as the knees drop, so that's your uh, diagonal patterns of your upper extremities. You want to be able to keep your knees together, so you have to be able to fire your hip adductors, the, uh, the pillow squeeze. Those muscles have to be strong, otherwise your legs just fall out to the side. You want to have some uh, abdominal strength to help you, especially your, your diagonal crunch, because that's going to also help to initiate the roll. You want to also have, um, have performed the single leg bridge, because as I roll to one side, to make the roll more efficient, I'm pushing off the opposite leg. So if I'm rolling to the right, I'm pushing off my left leg, that's like the single leg bridge. So you break down the rolling task into its individual pieces and then you bring it together and you practice it to develop that motor pattern in your brain. This way it will become more efficient and easier for you to do it.